Right, you guys, what is going on? And welcome back to another Rugby Player Reacts to the NFL Draft video. The final one, literally the final one of the day. And it is looking at rounds numbers 5, 6 and 7 because the NFL didn't include those on their channel. And I don't know why. There is one reason and one reason only that I'm doing this. And that is to see where the first punter or kicker got drafted. What school they're from and what country they were born in. Some of you may know I have a little bit of an affiliation with Pro Kick in Australia. Pro Kick is the punting and kicking academy that trains up Australian or New Zealand athletes to become punters, American football punters, and specifically punters, and uh, vie for scholarship opportunities in America. Now I was twice actually, almost, almost going to sign on the dotted line and start training with these guys. but. Certain circumstances, certain things in my life that were happening at the time prevented that from happening. So here we are. I'm actually in New Zealand now. I'm not in Australia anymore. But I still have a massive interest in pro kick. And I'm assuming, well actually I'm not assuming because usually when you assume you make an ass out of you and me. But what I'm hoping is that the kicker or punter that got drafted first is from Australia or, and came through pro kick. So without further ado, let's find out. Wow. Yeah, swear to God I'm with it. I don't see nobody in my lane is quite go get it like me. Wow. Please don't be wasting my time with that business. Who are you kidding, man? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna see if they've got coverage or highlights of round five. The NFL definitely didn't bring out a video. I think we're going to have to go to Google for this one. Um, okay, NFL draft round five. Picks by round. Okay. Easy. First pick in the fifth round of the 2020 draft. Defensive end, Khalid Kareem. Okay, let's keep going. Defensive end, guard, guard, receiver, safety, tackle, defensive end, linebacker. Center, safety, cornerback, kicker to the Patriots. Justin Rowasser from Marshall. Really? Marshall University? Is that the same Marshall that's in the plane crash happened? Associated with? If it is, that's bloody awesome. Okay, so we've got Justin. Let's have a look at you, mate. 6'3", 234. You're a fucking beast of a kicker. Rowasser is a big kicker who was the Conference USA Special Teams Player of the Year in 2019. He has the leg strength to connect from long distance. His, actu his accuracy improved last year. He also handled the kickoff duties for the herd. Right. Let's have a quick look. Place kicker. Okay, so he's... What does that mean? Restarts? Place kicker. What is a place kicker? Place kicker, or simply kicker, is the player in gridiron who is responsible for kicking duties of field goals and extra points. Okay. Field goals. Bio. Are you American? Let me look you up. Justin Rowasser. No, he was born in the States. Oh, okay. He had a tattoo that he got in trouble for. Tattoo of the Roman numeral three encircled by 13 stars, which is the logo of the three percenters, a far right anti-government paramilitary group. Okay. Anyway, he was born in America. Clifton Park, New York. Well, you're no good to me, but I wish you well. Now, let's continue. No more in the fifth round. Let's go to the sixth round. Tyler Bass from Georgia Southern went with the 188th pick to Buffalo. Tyler Bass. Let's have a look at you. 5'11", 185. Bass is a smaller kicker who had a better season in 2018 than he did in 19. He hit the game-winning field goal in the second overtime at South Alabama in 2019. He handled the kickoff duties and finished his college career with 11 tackles. That's awesome. He also punted five times at Georgia Southern. All right, so if we're talking about the drafts, we're talking about kickers, you've either got a PK or a place kicker, or you've got a P or a punter. And obviously a place, a decent place kicker that can actually score you points, literally score you points, is gonna be, I guess, you know, more valuable than that of a punter who can really just get your field position, which then in turn can turn into points. So I guess if your punter is good enough, they're going to be just as valuable 
as your kicker. And with that being said, three picks later at 191, we've got Braden Mann, punter from Texas A&M. And this guy, I recognize from somewhere. I'm pretty sure we've talked on Instagram before. Let's check. Braden Mann. Braden Mann, American football punter and kickoff specialist for the New York Jets. He played college football at Texas A&M. He also broke the NCAA Division I football bowl subdivision records for single game punting average, single season punts of 60 plus yards, and single season punting average. November 24th, 1997, 5 foot 11, 198 pounds. And he, and he was born in America, Texas. So no Australians yet. Let's continue. Actually, I'll look up Tyler Bass. How stoked are these guys having a Wikipedia profile already? All right, Dutch Fork High School. Played high school football and soccer at Dutch Fork High School. Committed to Georgia Southern on January 31st, 2015. He was redshirted his true freshman year. He saw a significant improvement in his redshirt junior season, making 19 of 21 field goal attempts and 45 of 45 extra point attempts. He participated in the 2020 Senior Bowl, making two field goals and four of four extra point attempts. Well done. That might have just got you picked in the draft, mate. Okay, so not an Australian. Once again, let's continue. Round number seven. Safety, running back, cornerback, defensive end, Sterling Hoffrichter. Punter from Syracuse. The first punter off the block. Let's go. Sterling Hoff Richter. Sterling Hoff Richter. 23 years of age. 5 foot 10. 196 pounds. Round number 7 with the 228th pick to the Atlanta Falcons. He was born in Jacksonville, Florida. No, you're no good to me. Come on. Give us one more. Sam Sloman. Let's have a look at you. 5'8". God damn! You better hope you get that leg up high, mate. Sloman is a small kicker with a big leg. And he connected on four of his field goal attempts from over 50 yards last season. He kicks off too. And he improved in that role over the course of his career. But he kicks the ball out of bounds a little too often. Okay. Interesting. Sam Sloman, let's look you up. September 19th, 1997, age 22, 5'8". 5'8", 205 pounds. He's solid. He's definitely solid. And he played for Miami. No, not the University of Miami, Miami of Ohio. Okay, so he played high school at, at Pace Academy. So he's definitely born in America once again. I guess guys, before we go, the final search that needs to be done is, were any Australians drafted in 2022 NFL? Okay, maybe I should have read this. Maybe I should have read this first. Okay, former Saint Aaron Sipos. Former Saint? Oh, they're talking about Aussie rules. Aaron Sipos is signed with the Detroit Lions as an undrafted free agent after missing out on being selected in the draft. Sipos was thrown a lifeline after the NFL draft ended in disappointment for he and fellow Australian punters Dane Roy and Joel Whitford on Saturday with the trio missing selection. There's your answer. However, Sipos did not have to wait long for a lifeline. The Lions swooped in the minutes after the draft. Roy and Whitford could also still be signed as undrafted free agents. The 27-year-old Sipos played 28 games with the Saints from 2011 to 2015. However, shoulder injuries stopped him from showing his full potential. He turned his attention to becoming a punter in the NFL, and after a successful stint over two seasons as a, as a punter at the University of Auburn, he was spoken to by several NFL teams ahead of the draft. I'm super excited to get to work, Sipos said from his home in Auburn, Alabama. Sipos watched the draft on TV and was not concerned when two other teams that had shown interest in him, the Jets and the Falcons, selected American punters. Sipos was confident the Lions would eventually call. In the lead up to the draft, Detroit General Manager Bob Quinn, Special Teams Coordinator Braden Coombs and other coaching staff called the Melbourne Rays Sipos six or seven times. Okay, so it was... Definitely in the works. The Lions used their last pick of the draft on Ohio State defensive tackle Jason Cornell, but Sipos agent reassured him they were still keen. As soon as the draft was over, the Lions offered to sign Sipos as an undrafted free agent, and he gladly agreed. Sipos said other teams made approaches after the draft, but he was sold on Detroit. I had a couple of teams interested in signing me as a free agent, but Detroit was clearly the best option. I know they need a guy, and I think I'm the guy who can fit into their system. So I thought it was a no-brainer. The Jets were in the market for a punter after choosing not to sign Australians Lockie Edwards, but in the draft, bypassed Sipos and selected American 
Texas A&M punter Braden Mann, which is who we just saw. I guess we're going to have to look up old Sipos. What a bloke. 27 years of age. He played Australian rules football for St Kilda from 11 to 15. Basically just got dropped. He got dropped from professional Aussie rules football in 2015. 2017, November 2017, Sippus received an offer from Auburn University after training with Pro Kick, I believe. He visited Auburn the following month, committed to play for the college football team as a punter. He also been training with Pro Kick Australia in order to transition from Australian rules to American football. Sippos competed for the starting punter position behind Aidan Marshall prior to the start of the 18th season and was later named as the backup to Marshall. However, Sippos was on the field more than Marshall against the Washington Huskies and head coach Gus opted to make Sipos the starting punter against the Alabama State Hornets. On the 25th of April 2020, Sipos signed a deal with the Detroit Lions at the end of the 2020 draft as an undrafted free agent. Good luck my friend and good luck to everybody else who was drafted this year. That's it guys, that is the end of the coverage, or my coverage, of the draft. And I just want to say I really hope you enjoyed, I want to say I've had a lot of fun, but I cannot wait. I cannot wait for the next videos I'm going to shoot and I'm going to preface those with a little bit of an introduction. I've got three men in my life, three football players that live internationally. I've never met them but I've become friends with them. Not only have I become friends with them, I've become fans of them. I've become real fans of these three guys. Each of them has a different story, each of them has a story to tell, each of them deserves a chance to play football at the top level. But each of them have had their own obstacles that has led to that not happening yet. I believe, I wholeheartedly believe, I have faith in these guys, these three guys. So in the next few videos I'm going to be bringing to my channel, I will be showcasing them and their talents. Their names are Armin, Dave, and Ruben. So, for a lot of you guys, this will be the first time you ever hear those names, but it's certainly not going to be the last. So the next few videos, I'm really, I'm quite nervous to be making these, to be honest. It, it, I'm, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an excited version of nervous, because I am so excited for these guys. I am so excited to bring their talent to my channel and genuinely try and help them advance their football careers. This is not about me anymore. This is about helping people that really deserve it. This is about helping my three friends live up to their potential and become professional football players. And I ain't joking, these guys have some fucking potential all right. So Armin, Dave, and Ruben, this is your time man, this is your year. 2020 is your year. And I'm gonna do my very best to help you with that. So guys, stay tuned for that. I'm really excited. We've got one tight end, we've got one wide receiver, and we've got one running back. They've all got completely different physiques, they've got completely different journeys, like I said, but we'll get into that. All anyone needs is a shot. All anyone needs is an opportunity. And if you're that type of person that, you know, knows deep down that if you get that opportunity, you're gonna run with it and you're not gonna let it go, you're not gonna let it slip through your fingers, those are the types of people that I will back wholeheartedly and those are the type of people that I wanna help. Because professional sport was my dream as a kid. And if I can help anyone out there realize their own dreams, it makes all this worth it. So that's what we're going to be doing. I'll see you in the next one guys. Have a great night and peace out.